Because there's these moments that keep happening that I love. Like, my friend and I went back to his house the other day at 1.30 in the afternoon on a Wednesday to find his 13-year-old son sitting in the dark with three of his friends smoking weed and watching the wall. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. I was pretty excited about it, because that's kind of awesome. Father, not so much. Furious, fucking furious. Like in their faces, just being like, don't you understand that the choices that you make now will define you for the rest of your life. And I cannot stop giggling. I just I can't stop giggling. Because I know the second that that kid leaves, we're getting high and watching the wall. <laughs> yeah. And we did. And it was pretty badass. I'm not going to lie to you. It made just a little bit more sense than it did when I was 13, skipping school to watch the wall and smoke weed. And we see how well that worked out as I performed for you on Beaufort Highway. Yep. <laughs> Don't believe that water tower. Success don't live in Gwinnett. It lives right here on Beaver Highway. I don't know if you guys noticed, there used to, the, uh, the Waffle House, right up the street here, used to have a sign in the window. The Waffle House had a sign in the window that said, We proudly serve tacos. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of funny, because I imagine if you built a Burger King in Mumbai, India, you would probably have a sign that says, We proudly serve hummus. Like, I bet you fucking do. <laughs> They don't eat cows, you know, eh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> my friend who I was talking about before, he just got a job as an ice cream man. <laughs> yeah, right? Which is just about like, that's the creepiest fucking job you can have, right? Like, it just sucks when you have a job where it's presumed that you're a pedophile. You know, <laughs> out of hand, matter of factly, you know what I mean? Like, that's a big old bar, because I don't even like being around my friend's kids, to tell you the truth. You ever like, over at somebody's house, they leave the kid in the room with you, they leave, and the kid starts crying, and they come back and like, what happened? It's like, I don't fucking know, like, what happened? He shit his pants. I don't really, I mean, what do you expect me to say? I punched him in the mouth, he started crying. It's weird. Anyway, uh, it's just funny because I couldn't be an ice cream man. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like the most stern, paranoid ice cream truck driver ever. He'd be like, can I get a rocket pump? He'd be like, yes, I am removing the rocket pump from the cooler. Back away from the truck! I am placing the rocket pop on the count. Here are my hands. Take the rocket pop. Take it. Take the rocket pop. I did not fucking touch you. You saw. I did not fucking touch him. Who wants a taco taco? <laughs> ice cream man turns the corner and then they were all the kids are like, run! That's <laughs> the old ice cream man. The one he used to touch us, he was far less frightening. <laughs> Do you guys like it better if I did tricks or something? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Fellas, piece of advice. Doctor grabs your balls, tells you to turn your head and cough, that's normal. You should do that. But if the doctor grabs your balls, tells you to turn your head and think about wrestling, well, that's not a doctor. Also, you are not in a doctor's office, you're in a gay bar. Also, time to stop lying to yourself. <laughs> Story. <laughs> Do you guys know why uh, why prostitution is the world's oldest profession? It's because the first thing women figured out was how to fuck men out of money. <laughs> Another true story. Speaking of cocaine, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but it is actually a lot more difficult to do a line of coke off a stripper's ass than movies would have you believe. They see that razor blade, they freak out. <laughs> Speaking of ex-girlfriends, uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but it is actually... Oh, no, no, I'm saying the wrong joke. Uh, <laughs> the best part about having sex with ex-girlfriends is not the sex. No. It's finding out how their mom's been doing, right? You know what I mean? The sex is pretty good, but really, it's that endless conversation at 3 o'clock in the morning after the sex where I have to listen about your mom's in Tygo where I figure out if I can get out of your house with my old Xbox without you noticing. That's really, that's the golden moment, right? All right, I'm going to do one more short one. Because nothing is working. Um, I don't know if you guys heard this, but there is a new contraceptive on the market. And what it is, it's this jelly. And a lady rubs on herself, and she can't get pregnant. They say it's 100% effective. And I believe that. Because guys, who wants to fuck the weird girl covered in jelly? Right? Right? Oh, slimy, icky, icky, icky. All right, I'm gonna get off the stage. Cause you guys are way weird. You had way too many, way too many hot fries. 
All right, let's get a bit.